Lesson 6.6, .6, Word Problem Solving, Three-Digit Subtraction. Making a model can help us solve subtraction problems. We can use base 10 blocks or draw a quick picture of blocks to help us model the action in a subtraction problem. What is the action in a subtraction problem? It's what happened, went away, took away, eaten, used, or it's comparing amounts to find their difference. It says to circle the correct operation. 135 flew away. If we saw 135 flew away, do you think we would add or subtract to find the answer? When we think about the words flew away, that means they're gone. They went away. They're not there anymore. That means we're taking away if you said subtract, you're right. 135 flew away, we're going to subtract that 135. Here it says 108 people came. Do you think we would add or subtract if we saw these words? People came means we are adding people. There's more people. So if you said add, you're correct. What if we see 247 fewer than. Do you think we would add or subtract if we saw those words? Fewer than tells me we're comparing, and to compare, we need to subtract. If you said subtract, you're right. So let's try solving some word problems. This one says there were 657 people at the county fair. 129 people went home. How many people stayed at the county fair? We think we need to subtract to find the difference of the number at first and the number that went home. We need to do 657 people minus 129 that went home. So the first thing we do is we draw the number of the menu in. That would be this number. We're doing 657 minus 129. We draw six hundreds, five tens, seven ones. And we cross out the number of the subtrahen, the number we're taking away. We need to take away nine ones from seven ones, but we don't have enough. We're going to have to regroup a ten as ten ones. Now that we regrouped it, we can cross this one out because it's not there anymore. It's over here in the ones place as ten ones. Now we can take the nine away. We circle nine. We're taking them away, so we cross them out. We need to take away two tens. We circle and cross off two tens. We need to take away one hundred. We cross off a hundred. Now we count how many are left. We have five, six, seven, eight ones. We have two tens. We have five hundreds. We know 528 people stayed at the county fair. It's telling us to draw a quick picture to model the problem, then solve. It says there are 724 cars in a parking lot. 218 of the cars are red. How many cars are not red? We think we need to subtract to find the difference between the number of cars and red cars. We draw 724 as seven hundreds, two tens, four ones. If we take away 218, we'll know how many were not red. We start by taking away eight ones. We can't. We only have four. So what we can do is take this ten. We can move it to the ones place as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. Now we can take eight away. We can take away four and four is eight. We can take away these. We cross it out. We cross this one out because we moved it. Now we need to take away 110. So we're going to take away this 110 and cross it out. And we need to take away two hundreds. So we can take away these two, cross them out. 
we count the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ones. We have no tens. We took them all away. Put a zero. And we have one, two, three, four, five hundreds. Remember to put a zero if there's nothing in that place value. We have 506 cars were not red. If we forgot our zero, it would say 56 were not red. So it's very important if there's zero tens that we put a zero in the tens place. This one says at the planetarium, 175 children and 42 adults saw the morning sky show. 117 children saw the afternoon sky show. How many fewer children saw the afternoon show than the morning? So we think we're comparing morning children to afternoon children. This number of adults is not needed. This is not important. It's unnecessary information that we can ignore. We're just comparing morning children to afternoon children. We start with the greater number, 175. We have 100, seven tens, five ones. That's the minuan. And we're going to cross off the number of the subtrahend, the number we're taking away. We need to take away seven ones, but we only have five. So we're going to circle this one. We're going to move it to the ones place as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. We're going to take seven of them away. We can take away these. Three, four, five, six, seven. And we cross them off because we're taking them away. Because this 10 was moved, we cross this one off. We still need to take away this 10. This is the one we regrouped. We still need to take one away. So we're going to cross that 10 off. And we need to take away a 100. There's only one here, so we're going to take that away. Now we count the ones. We have five, six, seven, eight ones. We have five tens. We have no hundreds, so we just leave it blank. We know 58 fewer children saw the sky show in the afternoon than in the morning. This problem says there were some pencils in a box. The teacher gave 26 pencils to the students. Then there were 129 pencils in the box. How many pencils were in the box before? We see it says gave, so she gave some away. So we know it's a subtraction problem, but look, we don't have a minuend. It said there were some pencils in a box. So we don't know what the minuend is. She gave away, that means minus 26. So gave is a clue. It's a clue word to subtract, but we don't have a minuend here. And we think we can solve subtraction with related addition. If we add the subtrahend and the difference, we'll know what the minuend is. So we do this as an addition problem. We have 129, that's 100, two tens, nine ones. We have 26, that's two tens, six ones. Now we just add them together. We have five ones and five ones, that makes 10 ones. We can move that over here as a 10, cross them off because they're not ones anymore. And we can count four, five ones. One, two, three, four, five tens, and 100. That's the sum. That means if we write it here as the minuend, we'll have 155 pencils, 26 were given away to students, and now there were 129 in the box. We know the answer is 155 pencils were in the box before. This one says at the county fair, 379 children bought slices of pizza. 138 of the slices of pizza were pepperoni and the rest were cheese. How many slices of pizza were cheese? We know there were 379 in all, 138 were pepperoni. If we take away the number of pepperoni from the number in all, we'll know how many were cheese. And we start by drawing 379 as three hundreds, 
seven tens, nine ones. We're going to take away one hundred, three tens, eight ones. When we look at the ones, can we take eight away? If you said yes, you're right, there's nine of them. We can take away this eight, we'll cross them off because we're taking them away. We need to take away three tens. We can take away these three because they're close together. We're taking them away, so we cross them out. We need to take away 100. Here it says circle the number that makes the sentence true. There were how many? Which one of these numbers would make the sentence true? We have two hundreds, four tens, one one. If you said 241, you're right. There were 241 G's. So remember to look for clue words so you know whether to add or subtract. The clue words tell us the action. If something's being taken away or if something's being added to it, then we'll know to use plus or minus. Remember that the top number is the minuend. We're taking away the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. When you're making your drawings, you're drawing the minuend, the greater number. Our next lesson, 6.7, is going to be three-digit subtraction, and we're going to regroup tens. I hope you're doing well, and I hope I'll see you there. Bye.